Hey guys, welcome back. And on this uh, video, we're gonna look into the process for how we can actually refine uh, the hair songs that we have. Uh, after looking into the hair songs that I made before, I kind of felt like this uh, certain hair song that we did just now is uh, not looking a bit more uh, like the way I wanted it. So what we can do in here is uh, like you can see one of the hair songs that I made before. Like it's uh, got a really good flow on the volume and everything and uh, so I want to keep this as a reference and uh, try to make some changes on the one that we have right now so let's get started for that uh, so for that what I want to do here is uh, I want to make sure that I add uh, one more uh, loop at the bottom but uh, let me just uh, arrange the vertices as an overall first so for that I'm going to select all the hair cards here and press F8 on my keyboard and uh, switch to the vertex mode and now I can select them all and make the changes as I want it like I can see like how I did the hair cards before they were a bit way much lower than I did before so I want to make sure that and you can like even uh, go for a bit of uh, waves on your hair cars if you need them like since uh, this is uh, one of the hair styles that I went for where the hair strands are uh, like really all the hair chunks are really wavy so I'm gonna pull these hair cars out a little bit make some room over here Grab this up a little bit. And it's always very important that you take time when you do this. You don't want to rush it and you don't want your work to be uh, like work to suck. It's better to take a little bit of more time and do it in the very, uh, very best way that you can do it. I'm here for the A001. I'm going to uh, select the main hair card from the outliner. Uh, I'm going to add one more loop. Okay, so I'm going to uh, isolate, select, insert edge loop tool, and add one more loop. I'm going to give this a bit more curve. Like you can see how it's changed around, changed than before. I'm going to do the same for this one as well. This is H1. Going to do it for all of those. So H4. Now what did I do? Ah, there you go. H5 and to H6 as well. Yeah, so I hope we're done with all of those. Now we left H3. So I'm gonna quickly add one more loop on this one as well. There you go. Then gonna select all the hair chunks again and press F8 on the keyboard. Now since I switched to uh, edge mode before, it's now currently switched to edge mode. And now I'm gonna right click and switch to the vertex mode. It's pretty easy. Press 3 on the keyboard to view it on the smooth mode. Just trying to create a similar kind of uh, flow for the hair that we had before. The way how we can uh, make the use of uh, F8 shortcut key on Maya and select all the vertices is like really handy.
and sometimes I even tend to like uh, select all the edges uh, all the vertices at the middle of the hair chunks and kind of give it a bit of scaling from the overall this adds a little bit more broader volume on the selected portions now you can do this uh, for the remaining of the hair cards that you'll be doing it's pretty much the same for the process There you go. Looks like this one single strand is moving a bit way too far from our main chunk. So let's get it back. Like it's uh, not compulsory that we always put these uh, uh, strands concise concisely to the uh, these main main hair chunks because sometimes we have to let them fly away from the uh, main chunks. Like maybe we can do that later, but for now. Let's uh, put them on together. Let's select them all. F8. And now, as you can see, it's looking way much better than before. And you can do this for the rest of the hair cards. And in the next video, we'll be looking on how to mirror the hair cards and work on it.